Audubon established Women in Conservation as a program to draw attention to women leading the environmental movement and to support the next generation of female conservation leaders. Each year, our Rachel Carson Field Internship, sponsored by our Men's Council, gives young women hands-on experience in conservation management. At the same time, Audubon conducts extensive in-school programming, helping to foster a love for the natural world in kids. Since its inception, Women in Conservation has honored more than 40 women with one of the nation's most prestigious honors, the Audubon Rachel Carson Award. It took a scientist turned investigative author to break the biggest environmental story of the 20th century. The story? The poisoning of our environment with pesticides. Its author? Rachel Carson. Carson's Silent Spring used science, investigation, and powerful prose to convince the world that our environment was under siege. The women we honor today continue that legacy. They use unassailable science and investigative journalism to unearth emerging truths about our planets and our own health. Women like Kate Shepard, who reaches out to national audiences with breaking environmental news through channels like the Huffington Post. We celebrate authors like Elizabeth Reut, whose work has brought new awareness to the perils of waste in all its forms. Journalists like Emily Atkin, who, writing for Climate Progress, has shown that our impact on the planet through acidifying oceans is not a good thing. And Andrea Vittorio, who reports at the intersection of climate change and corporate sustainability for Bloomberg BNA. We honor journalists like Audubon's Renee Ebersol, who has opened people's eyes to the inspiration nature provides, be it birds or gorillas. We spotlight the four co-founders of Climate Confidential, who together are bringing long-form investigative environmental journalism into the mainstream. Erica Guise and her work focusing on two of life's core requirements, water and energy. Josie Garthwaite reporting on technology and how it can address environmental challenges. Amy Westervelt, whose work on the environment, business, technology and health appear in media as diverse as The Guardian and The Wall Street Journal. Mary O'Connor, who unearthed some unintended consequences from an unlikely source synthetic textiles. We celebrate Dinah Voiles Pulver, a three-time recipient of Florida's highest award for environmental writing, including for her five-day series on the crisis in the Indian River Lagoon. And we honor women like Jean Blaisdell, creator of The Green Samaritan, helping people on their journey towards green living. We also honor women who have created awareness in their own communities about environmental issues. Women like Rona Cobell and Bonnie Weber. Together, they represent a new generation of Rachel Carsons, informing, enlightening, inspiring us to see our world through wide open eyes, both the peril and the hope and to heighten awareness of our only home.